We welcome you to our evening praise online service. to our evening praise service for September. We continue to bring you our monthly service online rather than from Leavenheath Village Hall, thanks to the hard work done by so many behind the scenes. Building on the work already done by Reverend Mark, who has wrestled with technology to bring us our weekly Sunday service and so much more. We are very blessed in our minister and I would ask you to hold him and all of our ministry team in your prayers as they negotiate these very difficult times to continue to serve our church and our community. Tonight's reading, which we will hear later in the service, is entitled, Time to Sniff the Roses. This is from the book, A Year's Journey with God, by Jennifer Rees Larkham. As the weather begins to turn, we see the natural world around us change from summer blooms to autumnal ripeness. As the harvest comes in and the leaves turn from green to gold, red and orange. And we are reminded afresh of the beauty and abundance of God's creation. This year, more than ever, it is important to remember our blessings and to thank God for his great generosity and all of the good things that he has given to us. So let us lift our voices to him and make a joyful noise with our next hymn, Shout to the Lord. <laughs> there is none like you all of 
my days I want to praise the wonders of your mighty Job 10 verse 8 In his hands are the depths of the earth and the mountain peaks belong to him The sea is his for he made it and his hands formed the dry land Your hands shaped me and made me The next song is Give Thanks Give 
taken from A Year's Journey with God by Jennifer Rees Larkham. I'm writing this on a secluded beach in Devon. Getting here involved a long hike and a risky climb down the cliffs, so there are no ice cream kiosk, deck chairs or beach huts. Absolutely everything I can see was made by God himself. The gulls soaring over the towering cliffs, the gigantic cumulus clouds drifting above them, and the sea as it sucks gently around the rocks. I've spent the afternoon enjoying the rock pools, fascinated by all the different colours of the pebbles, the swaying anemones and the tiny darting fish. So few people ever come here that all this staggering beauty exists almost exclusively for God's pleasure alone. Today's Bible verses tell us that he made it with his own hands. But does God really have hands? Did he roll the earth into a ball in his palms and fling it into orbit? God is so powerful that he can create anything merely by a word of command. But the Bible mentions his hands many times and even says in Isaiah 49 verse 16 that our names are tattooed on them. King David tells us in Psalms 8 verse 3 that God's fingers made the moon and the stars. These days we all live such hectic lives except perhaps when we're on holiday we hurtle through our days trying to keep to our tight schedules, leaving ourselves no time to look closely at the beautiful things God made for our pleasure, as well as his own. The wonderful imagery in this passage reminds me of a powerful line in a favourite song of our congregation. The line refers to God's hands as hands that flung stars into space. So let's all now sing this song together, The Servant King. Speak of 
sacrifice Hands that flung stars into space To cool nails surrender thinking today of God's creation. As Jennifer said, it's only when we take time out from our busy lives that we see God's beauty around us. We offer our prayers. Forgive me, Lord, for taking your amazing creation for granted. Lord, you give us seasons. In autumn, we have the falling leaves that carpet the floor acorns falling, looking for a suitable patch of ground in which to flourish. Winter, when we see the structure of your mighty trees stretching to the sky. Spring, when new growth starts. Tiny shoots, leaves, colour from the dormant bulbs that have appeared from nowhere. We thank you, Lord, as we know when this happens, summer is on its way. When your garden bursts into colour all around us. Lord, we are the caretakers of your world. Encourage us all to look more closely and take more care so as future generations can share in the beauty of that which you have provided. Lord, we look to you for hope for the future. We are in your hands. And as the reading said, you shape me, make me. There's no other with your love, power and glory. Amen. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Our prayers lead us into our next song, How Deep the Father's Love for Us. his 
only son to make a wretch his treasure. patience and encouragement. Give us a spirit of unity to live in harmony as we follow Jesus Christ, so that with one voice we may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Thank you for sharing in our service today. We hope you will be joining us again next month. And now for our final song, Shine Jesus Shine. Lights of the world shine upon us, set us free by the truth you now bring us. Shine on me, shine on me, shine, Jesus, shine, fill this land with the Father's glory, blaze, spirit, blaze, set. On fire. 
Shine